So let's talk about classical programming commands. So classical classical programming. So and the the most important bit in programming or the ingenious idea of programming is of course loops. Yeah, so how do we create loops? And that's pretty simple. So it's the um, same idea as any other language. So we write for example for i equals one, two, three. And then let's say just print the i and do an end. So what does it mean? This is our, our index variable. And this is here essentially our vector. So that's the, that's the start and that's the end. So what we also, because this is here, this is a vector, vector, we can also write, for example, something like 1, 0.1, colon 3. And then it would count basically from 1 to 3 in steps of 0 0.1. Yeah, so again, here we've got the start. That's the end. And this is now our step size. So in general, the for loop can run through any vector, which is very, very convenient. So let's do this as an example. We can um, calculate the average. Yeah, so let's um, go to our to our MATLAB command here. And um, let's just create some random data. Yeah, so for example, 10, 12, 14. So let's check it is there. It's there. Okay, so now we would like to calculate the average out of this. So then we can, oops, we need a variable to, to obviously accumulate this. So let's say that's our average variable here. And then we do a loop running from 1 to 3. So now we see that MATLAB is now um, not giving us um, these two greater signs, but waiting basically for the loop to, to close. And so let's say now average equals average plus y of, oops, y of i, so that we take the index here, and then we do an end here. So now because I've um, omitted the semicolon here, we see that the loop has now been executed three times and these these values are added up here. So now we've got 36 and then obviously to get the, the proper average we just divide the average by three. So what what you usually would do is you would code this program in a in a script. So loops are usually usually just um, live in scripts and not directly in this command line window. But in order to, to see how the loop works, I've just done this directly in the command line window and it also works. But usually you would write an M file for that.